I want to join our eight member of parliament in putting up a little more information in terms of where we just have is. It's very well spoken about geographical location, but I want to point out that to the southern part, we just have borders Garissa and Isioba counties. And to the east, it has a border, an international border with Somalia. And I want to point out that whereas we just south is 21,456 kilometers square, the entire county is 56,000 square kilometers combined. The rest of the other five constituencies are 56,700. Minus we just south means there are only 30 something thousand square kilometers here. 33. The five of them. The five of them combined. And I want to point out that the last census has put the entire Wajia County population at 781,263 persons, whereas Wajia South has 290,948, close to 40% of the population of Wajia comes from the South. I just want to focus on why do we need a county for Wajia South. One, economic viability. The southern part of Wajia has a thriving livestock industry and the establishment of a new county will allow for more focused efforts in livestock management and trade. And I want to point out that Wajia South has three major markets. One towards Somalia called Beef, Habaswen, and even Dagali, close to the Garissa border. The other reason why we will want this established is to improve trade and revenue generation. We have a customs and immigration border post at Diff, the border, seven kilometers to the border, a gazetted immigration and customs border post, which will allow free movement of goods and people and will generate local revenue and even national revenue for that matter, so that we're able to boost uh, our, our, our resources for, for investments. We have an opportunity, the new, the creation of the new Wajia South County will improve cross-border security and trade. You know, we have a long porous border. And if we, have, if we establish Wajia South County, we will improve trade, we will improve security. The southern part of Wajia has a huge potential for agriculture and livestock production. In fact, the Wasonjiro River goes through, and we have a huge potential in terms of groundwater potential uh, through the Milti Aquifer. Creating a specific county for Wajia South will actually improve service delivery. Our MP has very ably put that the resources allocated to us for the last close to 15 years is very minimal. And if we got the opportunity to actually get resources that are channeled directly to this county, we feel we have not been given our fair share of what we deserve. This will help improve security, it will improve uh, trade, it will improve employment opportunities, and we feel we deserve it. We are not asking for more than what we deserve. I want to conclude by saying, kindly give us a fair hearing, and implore the respective institutions to listen to the plea of Wajia South people who have been disadvantaged for decades 